Hi, this is Jared from Omni Labs, and today we have a short video showing how to put together a low cost uh, vacuum pen system based on parts that you can just get off Amazon uh, easily. So you can see on this table all the parts that we need. Um, we have a AC adapter. Ours is, uh, we're using 15 volt 2 amp, but you can use pretty much anything 12 volt, 15 volt, 9 volt is probably all fine. Uh, that goes into a DC to DC converter. Uh, it has voltage and current adjustment, which is useful when you want to control the amount of suction uh, that the pen has. And then that goes to a switch. You can use pretty much any switch, but uh, we're using these nice uh, metal push button switches here. And then that goes through all the way to the vacuum pump. Um, pretty standard. Uh, it's hard to find sort of the right one, but this one is uh, one we found on Amazon that seems to work quite well for us. And then that goes through tubing to the foot pedal. And it's pretty essential to have a foot pedal, otherwise your hands are busy uh, you know, with, the, with the pen and parts. And on the back of the foot pedal, you see three ports. Um, we have these brass uh, flange inserts and we use Teflon tape to, prov to create a good seal. And so one of them goes to the motor, I'll explain that in a bit. And the other goes to the vacuum pen, which is just a pack of syringes that you can buy off Amazon. Um, and then there's some electrical tape here to sort of uh, thicken up the, uh, the, the outer diameter of the tube and then you can just sort of press fit this the syringe on. And the nice thing about using a syringe set is they come with a lot of different tips. So you can actually choose um, whichever tip size and length that works best for the parts that you're using. So you might need a larger, a larger tip for like a larger parts or a small tip for small resistors and capacitors. Okay, so, okay, let's cut that. All right, so here's a bit more detail on the, the connectors uh, for all the tubing. So this is the vacuum pump. You can see on the bottom, they mark which way um, the airflow goes. So we connect the one that's pulling in on this side. That goes to the bottom port P here. And the way it works is um, by default, P is connected to B. And when I press the pedal down here, uh, it switches P to connect to A. So that basically leaves the, this, that means all the suction comes out of A instead, which is just open. And then the line B is free to sort of release. Um, so that's how you should uh, connect the tubing when you set this up. All right, so here's an example of how everything runs uh, once you've got it all together. So you take the AC adapter, plug it in, of course. All right, DC to DC converter has power. I've already set up the current and the voltage um, based on this tip. Uh, you can adjust this to adjust the suction force um, depending on however you like it. So now we turn it on. All right, it's running. And you'll see here that when I block the tip, it will switch to constant current mode because of the increased uh, resistance. So that's that's a nice feature. We used to do this without uh, current limiting, but then you, the motor would sort of overwork itself. So this is nice that it'll kind of just stop. Um, and then separately, here's the foot pedal. So when I say I'm picking up a part, it picks up the part, put it where I want, and that will release the pressure in the line so that the part basically falls off. Um, let's try that again. So. Right, so basically there's nothing here anymore. Um, the nice thing that you get is sometimes when you release the pedal, there's a little bit of a soft blowing effect, which kind of helps the parts to be released. All right, so here's a demo of how you actually pick up parts with a pen. Uh, my left hand will be uh, pretend to be my foot here. And what we found is when you're picking up parts from tape, you should rotate the nozzle first, depending so that when you place it, your hand is in a more natural orientation. And that way uh, you avoid, you know, it's hard to release when you're in a contorted position. So these parts need to go 90 degrees, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to turn first, pick up from the tape, put it in the spot, release. Get another one. And we found that you can be about twice as fast um, using using this vacuum pen than you would with tweezers. And let's try the big part here.
So that was a little bit uh, too little suction. We could use a larger tip or slightly adjust, but uh, it's probably sticking to the table a little bit too. So. All right.